Hey guys and welcome back to another video. On today's video I'm going to show you how to, you can back up your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air or iMac or any Apple device that run Mac OS with um, the Time Machine backup system that is provided with your Apple device. So if you're new to the channel just make sure that you like and share this video. Also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified when other videos are uploaded in the channel. And if you already know how to back up your system with your time machine backup, you can also hit that link in the description or the time card on the top right corner to know how to restore your MacBook or MacBook Air or iMac with the same um, time machine backup that you already made. And for all of you that do not know what time machine is, time machine will create a backup or an image of your whole computer. So it will back up all your documents, all your applications, everything. And at the moment that you restore your computer with the time machine backup that you are gonna make, it will restore it to the same way it was prior the backup you made. So it literally, it will look the same way as you had it. So um, it's gonna be a really quick and short tutorial. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is that I'm gonna be using a lazy rock um external hard drive it's already plugged in and i'm going to show you which one it is so it's actually this one right here this is the one that i'm using and um it's going to be it has a connector to usb c or thunderbolt 3 but you can use actually any of these um portable hard drive like this uh western digital my passport portable external hard drive this is a five terabyte one and it's uh at around 109 but doesn't have to be a five terabyte. I recommend that at least should be the same amount of space that you are have in your own system. So if, if you have a 500 gigabyte um, internal storage, I recommend that at least your external hard drive should be around the same size. Just because um, even though the time machine will compress your information, it will take a lot of space. So just at least the same size and also this Seagate um, external hard drive. This is another portable one. I recommend a portable one so you don't have to use external power and they only gonna use the power provided by the USB port. Um, some of these hard drives are already USB-C um, has USB-C connection, but if you have one that has a USB type A connection, you might want to need one of these adapters for USB-C in case um, your MacBook only has a USB-C port. So I'm going to leave the link for all this item in the description so you can go check them out if you need them. And another thing that I'm going to show you is how you're going to be able to back up your system also to kind of like a Synology um, NAS drive or on on rate NAS drive because I use on rate as my NAS drive. So, um, you after you connect your lazy or your external hard drive, you're gonna go to the uh, Apple's um sign on the left top, you know, the system preference. Once you go to system preference, you're gonna see time machine, you're gonna click on time machine, and it's gonna open the time machine um, prop. Once you get here, you can hit backup automatically. Um, that is up to you if you wanna have a, a daily backup in your, of your Mac every day. That is a good idea for people that actually are using it every day for work purposes. So you're using uh, Excel or Word and you are uh, every day saving doc documents in your computer. That's a, a good idea to have this check mark on. But if not, you don't have to. I already, as you see, once I hit the check mark, it's already asking me which one I'm going to be using. So uh, the lazy hard drive has two partitions. I'm going to be using the bigger partition. But as you can see, I already have a folder on my network to connect to my own rate. going to show you in a minute how to make that so i'm going to use the lazy for now you're going to hit use this once i've selected the disk 
it's gonna start a backup like right away if you see my next backup is gonna be in around 110 seconds so you can hit also this check mark it's gonna show you the time machine right here on the top bar so you can see when it is actually doing a backup and once you do that in around 90 seconds it's gonna start a backup so let me just close right here I hover over the time machine you see it says preparing to backup so you can skip this backup or you can enter time machine and just put up when you want it to get back up if you have a network or a NAS storage device that you want to have the backup going to you can like for example I got on rate you have to go to the chairs I'll go to the chairs here once you go to the chairs you're going to create a folder and you're going to create a share that like the one I already create time machine you're going to create a time machine folder and uh you can put anything you want here time machine backup folder and you have to make sure that you go to the AFP security settings that's the Apple filing protocol system because it's the only way you're going to be able to back up through the network because it has to be recognized as a AFP or Apple filing protocol um most of the uh, NASA's have this feature already like uh, Synology and QNAP they already have it so once you if you know how to work with them you're going to see that in their software they have a uh, uh, part to get the time machine set up so on a rate it, it also has it so you're going to see like that this is going to be a time machine export you're going to put the size as you see i put a it's a 500 gigabyte that's the size of my hard drive and um this i put secure because when you connect through the finder to the server is going to require you the password and the user from your machine so i put secure already and once you do that you're going to be already starting the backup so as you see the backup started already on my lazy hard drive it's going to take around 127 gigs of the space available on my hard drive just because remember it compresses everything so that's the amount of space that i'm currently using on my macbook pro yours can be a difference it just depend on how much it is but it's going to save you space just because it's going to be compressing the information to the external hard drive and you don't have to be worrying about consuming all the space on your external hard drive as the time machine will keep checking for changes on your backup and it will be deleting the old backup every time it makes a new backup so it keeps you up to date and also saves you space in your external hard drive and that's pretty much it it the backup will take the amount of time depending on yours of the amount of information that you have on your computer so it might take either 45 minutes an hour or hour and a half it just all depends on how much stuff you have in your computer so just keep that in mind that you have to leave it backing up it can take an hour it can take two hours it just depends on how much information you have so remember everything is going to be linked in the description below the adapters the um different external portable hard drives that you can use on your macbook and if you want to see that other video on how to restore it just it's going to be linked in the description so don't forget about that and if you want to see any other video and any other content on my channels just don't forget to subscribe to the channel and that's it for this video and thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video.